Hello everyone, this is the Technochaos introduction to the 2012-2013 Early Robotics game. Please pay attention because there just might be a test. As you can see, the playing field is laid out like the Western Hemisphere. You can see it best from this view if you stand on your head. Here's the Pacific Ocean area. The Americas continents are in the middle of the field. The Atlantic Ocean, the scoring zone, is here on this side of the field, separating the two halves, the North Atlantic and the South Atlantic. We'll talk more about that later. This area in white is Antarctica. Stay away from this zone. It's a penalty area. These are the scoring objects for this game. Let's call them sea bots. Scoring in this year's game is accomplished by getting the scoring objects into either of the Atlantic Ocean areas, like so, but in an evil twist by the mad scientists at Early Robotics. These objects have to actually be touching the paint in order to count. Let me illustrate. It might be possible to drag a carrier into an ocean area but none of the objects in that carrier would count because none of them are touching the painted surface. Carefully read the rules on this one and get to know your carriers because they all operate differently. Another important thing about this year's game is you'll get the highest possible score by putting equal amounts of your scoring objects, the sea bots, into the two scoring regions, the North and South Atlantic. This results in a score of four, but this results in a score of eight. Two dice in each ocean section. And as in past years, once your robot gets the scoring objects into the home base area, you can do anything you want with them by hand as long as they remain in the home area. Oops, that's a different game. I probably ought to load them into my robot and get them out to the scoring part of the field. Remember to read the rules carefully, be creative, have some fun, learn lots of cool important stuff. And we'll see you again soon as we all do the 2012-2013 Early Robotics game. Yeah.